Hey, hey everybody, how's it going? So, uh, yeah, what have I been doing? I have moved over to a largely carnivore-based diet, slowly transitioning from the traditional diet where I have a mix of vegetables and carbs and beef and meat and so on. And I'm moving more carb, uh, excuse me, more beef-based because of health reasons. So, what I've discovered through simple, simple experimentation, I've discovered that the less bread and uh, carbs I eat, especially sugars and so on, even potatoes, even a lot of vegetables, the less I eat of that, the better I feel, strangely enough. So this takes me way back, way back to when I was a young whippersnapper, and I knew my grandmother. My grandmother lived to be quite old, 98. She was born in 1900. So I remember talking to her, I don't know, 25 years ago, and she said to me that, uh, in her day, no one was fat. She said in her day, uh, cancer was exceptionally rare. Heart disease was very rare. And people, if they got past childbirth, if they lived quite long and productive lives. Like my great-great-grandfather, her father lived to be 99. She lived to be 98. He, in fact, died working in the fields, lifting some like big uh, cart out of the mud. So he wasn't like uh, an invalid, as we see so many times with people now in their old age. He, she, he was quite capable, moved around and so on. And I asked, and she, I asked her, why do you think that is? She, is? Is it the hard work? She goes, I don't know. She says, it's, uh, I think it's what we eat. I think it's what we eat. And I said, really? So what did you eat back then, Granny? I asked her. She said, well, she, lived, she worked on a farm. She lived on a farm. I said, I had a lot of meat, a lot of chicken, eggs, bacon. How about, I said, how about fruits? And, well, once in a while, fruit, you know, but uh, in the summer, really. We said, but in the winter, not so much. Uh, potatoes, she said, uh, but a lot of meat, a lot of natural food uh, off the farm. And they lived much longer. They had much less cancer, et cetera, et cetera. So I've been doing a lot of research on this. And what I'm discovering is that natural foods... Uh, especially fatty meats seems to do well for you in terms of uh, health considerations. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what works for me. So what has happened since doing this? Well, without working out super hard, I, I do a little yoga and I do a lot of walking and biking. But without working out super hard, I have not been this light uh, since high school. I have lost tons of fat, tons of weight, just by switching over from a processed carb-based diet, so I cut out the sugars, I cut out the potatoes, I cut out the breads, I cut out the, 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 the pastas, and all that kind of stuff, and I eat some vegetables, lots of meat. And here we are. So anyway, I went to my favorite Portuguese chicken joint called Campo. I just get a half chicken, no fries, no salad, just the chicken, and that's it. I eat this, and another great thing is when I eat this kind of food, I find that I don't get any cravings, I don't get fatigued, uh, I have a consistent energy all day. Again, I'm not telling you what to do, but if you have a body fat percentage over 20%, if you're a woman over 22%, you gotta lose weight. Not for aesthetic reasons, although you're gonna get that advantage as well, but for health reasons health reasons. You're going to have more energy. You're going to have less chance of diabetes, less chance of heart disease, less chance of cancer, less chance of arthritis, and so many other things. So, you know, the number one thing that puts people in hospitals is uh, metabolic-related illness, basically eating too much food and bad processed food. So if you uh, eat healthy, natural foods, you're, you're going to reduce your chance, I guess, of being in a hospital by, by, by about 80%. Kind of a rough number, but, you know, to me, that's worth it. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting, and uh, I'm going to go eat my Portuguese chicken. Pretty good. Pretty good. Hey, you may want to take a closer look. The key is in the sauce. Now, the sauce, admittedly, there's probably some sugar in the sauce, so, but such a minor amount. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Well, maybe not. Let's see. <coughs> it's hot. 